it was important to you to write new music before going out. It's a good point. I could have just done that. But I suppose at some point there would be a collision course because there would be a demand for an album. So I thought it's better to really kick off with that, you know. And as it happens, it was probably the better way to do it. After K.K. Downing got the boot from Judas Priest, or at least that's what he thinks happened, uh, actually there is a whole lot of the K.K. stuff to go into, but I'm not getting into it right now. But all you need to know is that after that muddle fuck, very little was heard or seen from the man. Until 2019 when K.K. and former Judas Priest members drummer Les Binks and Ripper Goddamn Owens hooked up with David Olsen, formerly of me not seeing his penis, and guitarist A.J. Mills for a one-off show of Priest Classics. Hooking up with new management in... Oh. January of 2020. And swapping out Ellison with bassist Tony Newton, the band was ready to rock the world. And then the world went into lockdown. To make matters worse, drummer Les Binks wasn't able to drum on the album due to getting a wrist injury. Picking up drummer Sean Elk to get behind the kit, we get to KK Priest's debut. Sermons of the Sinner, where Judas Priest's latest album, Firepower, was a modern metal assault and God bless it for it, Sermons of the Sinner goes back to that new wave of British heavy metal sound, which shouldn't be a surprise as it has the man who was at the vanguard of that sound on it. Raise your fist. It's all that classic Judas Priest mojo like Redeemer of Souls before it, but ten times better. KK and Mills shred like no tomorrow. Newton and Elg lock that rhythm section down to the fucking floorboards. And Ripper Owens, say it with me people, is Ripper goddamn Owens and therefore screams and soars like the banshee that he is. I don't know how a man in his 50s can still sound like this, but that's just what happens when you're a god amongst men. This album is a top to bottom masterpiece. Fast flashes like Hellfire, Thunderbolts, and Wild and Free cohabitating perfectly with classic metal like Brothers of the Road and Raise Your Fist. But for me, the best track is gonna have to be the last one, the nine minute symphony that that is Return of the Sentinel. Sermons of the Sinner is, in a word, amazing. I know that a lot of people want KK back in the Judas Priest fold. Hell, I even want that as well. But I would also like a second serving of this fucking band. Well, that does it for another solo salvo. I thank you all once again for sitting with me. I'll try to get a retrospective out real, real soon. But until next time, I'm Liam Winfield. Keep on rocking.